name is Alison Beck and I'm from Silkcraft. I'd like to show you how to make a card using silk painting gutter printed outlines. This is the type of card that, that you'll make. And so we need to start off with a pre-printed outline. I'm using it of a lily. And then a piece of freezer paper. This freezer paper stops the paint going through onto your table. We need iron fixed silk paints, a glue stick and brushes. So when you're ironing the freezer paper onto the outline, there is a right and a wrong side. Um, the, the right side is more shiny um, and that's the wrong side. So the right side is shiny. And for the freezer paper, there's a smooth side, that's the back, and the front is waxy. So you put the waxy side facing up onto your ironing board and then you put the wrong side of the outline on top. And then you just go over it quickly with the iron. And that has actually adhered the paper to the silk. So we're going to start to paint it using iron fixed silk paints. So we'll start off doing the leaves and if you just put a little drop in the middle of the leaf it's going to spread to the outer edge you just have to be careful that the the brush doesn't go over the line because then it would go into the background area. Just clean your brush well between the different colours. So for the petals I'm actually going to use two colours. I'm going to use pink and red. And if you are using two colours, it's best to use two brushes. And the colours spread together quite nicely. There's quite a few colours that look nice blended together. Um, red and yellow look nice together. Um, Pink and purple look nice, pink and red. And if you wanted one side of the flower to be white, the edge of the petal to be white, you just put water on and then blend the colour into it. Sometimes if you do a dark colour and then go on to it with a lighter colour, it pushes the dark colour to the edge. So on this last petal, I'm just going to show you if you want it, it a lighter colour, you just put some water on. And now to do the background, it's best to do it as quick as possible because you don't want any area of it to dry uh, because it makes a bit of a watermark.
Oh, there's one. So that's now painted. And the next thing that we've got to do is just iron it once it's dry, just to fix the colours. So we're just going to iron this and it will fix the paints and you just want it on silk setting of the iron and no steam. And that should be fixed and the next stage is to make it into its card. So now we're going to make it into a card and you need to open out your card this is an aperture card. So you place the outline over the aperture, you close the card, and then you need to check that none of the gold lines are showing around the edge. So you need to then reposition it slightly. So when it's the position you'd like it to be, then open it up again, making sure that it doesn't move. And just put some tape on just to secure it. Turn it over one more time just to check and then you need to with a print stick just go around the edge of the aperture. You can also do this with double sided tape if you'd prefer. So then when you've secured the outline into the aperture, then you need to, with the glue stick, go round the whole outside edge. And then your card is finished.